Hi, this is Gia Roberts of Lifestyle of the Believer, and this is our very first uh, video broadcast. You tuned in for the premiere of Lifestyle of the Believer, and we exist to motivate, empower, and encourage individuals and groups to see their God-given potential. And trust me, the enemy is out there and he's trying to cause you to not see that there is a gift on the inside of you. There is a seed on the inside of you. There is purpose on the inside of you. And so I come to cast that down and let you know that God has something great for you in your life. Um, uh, first broadcast, uh, I wanted to share with you just a nugget that God gave me in my Bible study today. God led me to Judges, uh, the seventh chapter and the second verse. And as I began to read, I began to be really excited and I wonder like, where is God going with this? And if you're familiar with the passage of scripture, you know that um, that scripture is where God told Gideon, he said, listen, for the victory that I'm going to give you over the Midianites, there are too many of you. And at the time, Gideon had some 32,000 soldiers. Like he had an army, he had a crew, he had some boys, he had people who had his back. And God told him, listen, the victory that I'm going to give you, there are too many of them. And I was like, wow, God, like, tell me more, tell me more. And then in the third verse, he tells him, he says, listen, he says, here's what I'm going to tell you to do. He says, I want you to go to all of those people and tell them if they are fearful and if they are afraid, go home. You, We don't need them with us because it's too many, first of all. So we're going to give them an out. And then the third thing is that after he said that, 22,000 of them like was like, peace out, I'm out of here. And then he told him, he said, then I want you to take them to the river and I want you to have them drink. And those who put their heads down in the water, he said, those are the ones who are going to go home. But those who bring the water up and they're observing and they're looking around and seeing what's going on and they're also drinking. Those are the 300 that, that I will take with you. And so here's what I want to say. This is reduction by force, right? And so sometimes God reduces you so that he can bring you the victory and so that he can expand you and so that he can make your name great. So every time God allows something to be taken away from you, we ought not be upset and we ought not be worried and say, God, what is going on? And I'm losing everything. Sometimes God reduces us by force so that he can bring us the victory. I thought that was a powerful word. And then the other thing is he told him, he says, tell those that are afraid and those that are fearful that they can go home. And the reason why that stuck with me, those lines stuck with me is because sometimes people will be with you, but they are afraid to, 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 to release themselves. Like they feel like they have an obligation to you. You know, we've been, we've, we've hung for a long time. We've been together for a long time. And, and, and sometimes God wants them to leave and wants to release them. And you have to be able to release those people that are afraid because where God is taking you, do you, are you hearing me? Where God is taking you, those people that are afraid and those people that are fearful, they can't, they won't be able to hang. So you have to give them the out. You have to give them the opportunity because otherwise they won't leave. They'll stay right there and they'll be a burden and they'll be complaining and they'll be fussing and wondering and arguing. And so you have to say, listen, God is doing a wonderful thing in my life. He's doing great things and he's taking me somewhere. And it's okay if that is not the direction that you are planning on going. If this dream and if this vision frightens you so much that you're like, I don't know, then you might, this might be your out. And then the last reduction where he brought it down to those 300 that he used to help Gideon win the victory over the Midianites. He was like, listen, I want you to have those people that can keep their eye on the prize and also work. Because guess what? We live in this world 
but we also have to keep our eyes open. We also have to see what it is that God is taking us through and what he's doing. And we can't just bury our head. He said, put their heads in the water and let's see who will come up and let's see who will make it. I just thought that was an awesome word. I don't know about you, but I'm just motivated. I don't know. We can all hear the same word and respond differently to it. So perhaps you're hearing this and God is speaking to you and ministering to you in a completely different way than he's ministering to the other 22,000, I speak that, that are listening to this broadcast tonight. So if God is speaking to you and he's ministering to you and perhaps he has already reduced you and you don't understand, I want you to pray tonight and I want you to say, God, if this is you that have reduced me, I receive my victory right now in the name of Jesus. And if you are afraid of where God is taking you, I want you to stand firm and know that you are a child of the living God and you are in his hands and he will take good care of you. He will bring you the victory. I believe that for you and I speak that over your life. So I hope this word has been a blessing to you. Just remember reduction by force does not always mean that you lose. God might just be trying to do something awesome in your life. Again, this is Gia Roberts of Lifestyle of the Believers. Please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. There'll be more videos to come. You can also email me at lifestyleofthebeliever at gmail.com. You can visit us on Facebook, Lifestyle of the Believer, um, Facebook slash Lifestyle of the Believer. Um, and you can... Um, Check us out on Twitter. Yes, we're on Twitter. God bless you. Have a good night. And I hope that this is something that will be a blessing to you. Go ahead and share it with somebody if you know somebody that you feel could benefit from this um, nugget of a word. God bless you.